Hey y'all, it's Audrey from The Kurtz Corner, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the FHI Heat Stylus. It's a brand new tool that's out on the market, and it is one of a kind, guys. There is nothing out there like it. This tool does it all. It straightens, it adds volume, it adds curls, it tames those frizzies. I don't know what it doesn't do. So today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to create the hairstyle that I have now using the FHI stylus. And I'm also going to tell you about the product and what I think and just give you a lowdown on this cool new product. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is pretty much what my hair looks like naturally when I get out of the shower after I wash and dry it. It's kind of like an afro, it just does whatever it wants to do, it's really staticky and frizzy and then it's kind of wavy but it's not like a pretty wave. So um, I really enjoy using this stylus because it helps me accomplish two tasks at once. I can straighten my hair and tame the frizz and calm it down. At the same time, it locks in moisture and it reduces the frizz, but I can add volume or create a wave with the stylus. I've never seen anything like it before. So here is the actual stylus. And what is really unique about it is that it's the first of any stylus or tool that has a ridged back. Most of the time you'll see that tools like this that say like, you know, it's a wand, it curls, but it's a brush, it reduces static and frizz. It's normally like a whole brush, like all the way around, like you see those big round brushes. And the problem with that is it gets really tangled in your hair and you end up pulling out your hair, or it just looks wrong in the end. So this is really cool because it is just a brush, but when you turn it and the, the um, cord allows you 360 degrees to be able to turn it, you can spin it and these channels on the back help it guide through your hair so that you're not getting it tangled in your hair and ending up with a hot mess. Um, another cool thing about it is it heats up extremely fast. You just push on the button and it immediately goes to 400 degrees and you can also lower it to different temperatures, 350, 320, 285, and 250. So for all different hair types. So you just click it until it's the temperature you want. It'll light up um, up and down a few times until it's fully heated and then it'll stop on the temperature that you want. So it's, it's really awesome. And so what I'm gonna show you is how I would typically do my hair. So I like to do my hair in sections. Now that I've done that, my hair gets really, really frizzy or wavy around the crown of my head around and also around the face, facial line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the stylus and I'm basically just gonna brush it through and you just have to go really slow. It's not, it's not gonna be instantaneous, just like any other tool that you would typically use. So, but the great thing is you don't have to use a straightener and then go back and use uh, a curling iron. So I just kind of do that and get those edges tame. And then I'll go back and I'll start curling. So I'm gonna continue to do this. And once I get all of my crazy little curly hairs straight in the way I want it, I'll show you how to curl your hair using the stylus. All right, so I've tamed all those crazy little hairs around my face. So now I'm going to just start adding in curls. And you know, you can produce ringlets with, with this if you do it the right way. Um, or you can just do kind of a natural way of just add in some body and volume to your hair. So what I'm gonna do, and a good thing to remember um, when you're using this, which it does show you on the box, the hot part is the plates that are within the stylus. So the red part is what gets hot, um, the black, prongs don't get hot, but if you get your fingers too close, it'll burn you. So you have to use the, the plate at the end of the stylus to keep you from getting burned. And then you can touch the back. Just, I mean, I wouldn't put my fingers near it just because, but you can touch it without getting burned, but you should hold the end when you're using this. So I'm going to take a little section of hair, not too much, and I'm going to curl, let's see, 
I'm gonna curl in the direction I wanna go, which is away from my face. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start turning it. And as I turn, I can pull at the same time. And then you're left with basically a curl like that. So you can leave it, you know, longer if you want to make it a bigger curl. Just like a curling iron, you'd have to let it set depending upon your hair type, if your hair sets quickly or if it sets slowly like mine, if it's thick, coarse hair. Okay, so now my bottom layer is done and I've added some nice little wave to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the top half of my hair. And now I am done. What a difference that made for my hair. It was super flat and frizzy all around my face. My curls or the wave that's natural for my hair wasn't well defined. So just running that through my hair, I literally just did that in maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so it does take time, it does take practice to learn how to use it the best way that suits your hair, but I think it turned out great. It tamed my hair, it got rid of all those frizzies, and it added some beautiful curl and body to my hair. So the best tip that I can give you if you're using a stylist is remember that there are grooves on the back to help you guide your hair to help it not get tangled. You just need to hold it and go slow, don't go too fast, and always go in a you know a circular motion when you're creating the curl. You can't just brush through it because that won't do anything. So you have to actually turn the tool as it's going through your hair and just pull it through slowly. It shouldn't be getting tangled because of the way that the bristles are. My hair didn't get tangled in it at all. You just have to just make sure you go slow and take your time and then just play it around with it. And once you figure it out, you can create some really awesome looks for your hair. And I hope you enjoy the FHI stylus. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys and I'll be putting a link below to the FHI website so you can go check out the stylus yourself and until next time, bye!